the basis of the risk assessment is to identify risk. And in order to identify risk, it's probably helpful to understand what is risk. OK. So how do we want to, how do we quantify risk? Or what's the definition? So Merriam-Webster says the possibility that something bad or unpleasant, such as an injury or loss, will happen. OK, we talked about all those this morning, all the loss, the injury. OK, risk is a function of the severity of the incident, the probability. Those are the two main factors of, that play into risk. OK, severity of the hazard. And the probability is a, is a function of these two. The frequency of exposure to the hazard, OK? And then the technical and human possibilities of avoiding or limiting the harm, OK? So we've created a scoring system, and the standards will help you uh, lay out how to create a scoring system. We've created our own that are based on these three factors, and they roll up into the risk, okay, the risk scoring. Pop quiz. Okay, acceptable risk. So we talked about risk. Now we're going to talk about acceptable risk. Okay, so if we're going to guard something, we want to guard it to a level that's acceptable to us, right? So then what's acceptable? A risk level achieved after risk reduction measures have been applied. It is a risk level that is accepted for a given task or hazard. Okay, let's do an application example. A moving chain in close proximity to hands. Chain speed is 3,960 feet per minute. It's also 1,207 meters per minute. Uh, 45 miles an hour or 66 feet per second. Is that acceptable risk? The chainsaw? Yeah. You've been to one of these classes before or something? No. Yes. <laughs> yep. Okay. Most, I mean, our guts tell us like, no, that is not acceptable risk ever. And then, you know, hundreds of thousands of these things get sold on the open market. Okay. So we so with acceptable risk, we have to we have to consider that the machine still needs to be functional, right? Now we do everything we can to protect that piece of equipment. Okay, there's two hand controls on these guys. A lot of times we'll be make sure both hands are on the chainsaw, right? If one of them's off, it won't run. They have technology now with anti-kickback technology where if you hit a knot and it kicks back, it shuts off. Okay, so there's there's measures that are taken. There's this is where we get into the hierarchy of control. There's an instruction manual. Inside the instruction manual, it probably says you have to be a certain age to operate this device. Okay, that's an administrative control. So kind of like telling guidance, right? There's stickers on it. The one with the hand and the blood thing. Administrative control. Don't put your hand here. Okay. So we're gonna we're going to attack the risk as best we can based on our priority level. But again. Uh, at some point, the, the machine has to do its job, okay? 